Kiki wanna say hi? Today I'm gonna be meeting up with Sydney and we're gonna go to the Sushi Chef Institute. Like it sounds like, the Sushi Chef Institute is a place where you can learn how to be a sushi chef. And today we're gonna be going to what they call a sushi bar, which is an actual setup of what looks like a real sushi bar. And they invite friends, family, and media in to actually go and give the trainees some practice. So ultimately we go, they practice making stuff, and we get to eat it. I've been before, it's really fun, it's great getting to know the chefs in training and also everyone at the Sushi Institute. Today should be fun, I think ABC7 News is gonna be there covering Reina um, from Reina is Crazy, her channel is gonna be linked over here um, and then a bunch of other bloggers are gonna be going so it should be a good time. Sometimes it's a little bit more chill but today seems like it's gonna be a little more exciting so I thought I would take you guys along. I'm here with Sydney. Hello. And what are we doing? Sushi for breakfast. Joseph is making a natto roll for us and he has never had natto before so he's gonna try it Luckily, it's in the oh, mucky, wait, so it's like not as First natto. How is it Joseph? It's actually not that bad. Good! It's so sticky. I wish you could see It's not bad? I mean, that makes your brain good. But it tastes good. Yeah, it makes your brain good. It's kind of like, if you like fermented, not chunky, but... Today, I'm gonna be heading over to Hayato, which is a fairly new Michelin star Japanese restaurant, and I'm going to get their Obento or box lunch. Hayato has been open for about a year and they recently earned their first Michelin star. So during lunchtime, you could reserve in advance and get their really special Obento. Everything is so thorough, it is all seasonal and it changes, and it's supposed to be very, very good, and it's also very, very beautiful. For dinner, you can go to Hayato and get a traditional, beautiful kaiseki meal. I'm extra excited though because the chef is Brandon Hayato Go, who one is half, half Japanese, just like me, and also I actually know his family from when I was little. Brandon is quite a bit older than me, so he used to basically just babysit all his crazies. But it's really cool to see him open up this place and have it do so well, and he puts so much time and heart into his food. I actually haven't had a chance to go visit yet, but today I'm gonna to be going with Tomoko-san in Sydney and we are gonna be trying it out. So let's go get this Michelin star bento. home and it was such a good meal. The bento was actually quite big and it was really really filling much more than I thought it was going to be. I was like sort of struggling to finish it at the end 
um, but there was such a wide variety of things in it but nothing was like overpowering the other they all meshed super super well um, the flavors were amazing there was so much stuff my favorites were one the shrimp shinjo which was sort of like a shrimp uh, paste and smushed together and deep fried it was so good and super super shrimpy it was amazing and also the date maki tamago which is egg that's mixed in with fish paste um, and then it is steamed I guess and rolled and that one is a little bit sweet so it was nice I saved it to the end so it's sort of like a desserty type thing all in all it was a really really great experience from the bag the bag it came in was really nice the bento box the way it looked it's so fancy so it was a nice experience from receiving it to opening the box and eating everything it was so so much fun if you guys want to check it out I will have the link to Hayato in the description so make sure to make a reservation for the bento and for the kaiseki meals both of them you do have to reserve in advance if you guys go let me know how it was in the comments and also let me know your favorite things in obento thanks again for watching don't forget to like this video subscribe and i will see you in my next video Matane.